Hey guys, welcome. Uh, today I'm assembling a fuel system. Uh, it's a Walbro 525. It's in the basket. Um, I'm using the factory feed line as the return line. Um, got a weld-in regulator, uh, PTFE 8A in hoses, um, vibrant fittings, um, fuel pressure sensor. I got the radium microglass filter. It's just kind of loose back there right now. Um, I think that's about all it for the fuel system. Uh, but anyway, so I'm putting it all together. I'm still using the port injection. It's uh, coming up from the from the pump through the filter to this side of the rail, and then it comes out right here. I don't know if you'll be able to see any of this, but so that's a sharp 90 degree fitting, and then I'm gonna have a 180 here to basically feed the regulator from that side. Uh, then it's gonna go through the regulator and back down to the high pressure pump. It's basically how I had it before. It worked well. Um, it's probably looking for that earlier. But back here, something special. I just put the 525 in the basket with a few zip ties. Um, it's really pretty simple, actually. Um, but I got some fittings back here to make this work. So I've got a 7-pin connector here. Um, they're rated for like 20 amps a pin, so I'm using two pins to feed the or the power, and then two pins for the ground just to just to be safe. And then I have some like 10 gauge wire over here. I'm gonna wire everything tomorrow, but um, everything is stock. Like this is the feed line. It's actually a um, 3 8 coming out of here, and it's a 5 16 up front, which is which is weird. Um, so I use a stock feed line, and then over here I have the um, it's a 3 8 hose barb on the other side of this, and it's a 6 a.m. coming off the top, and then I have this 6 to 8 adapter. Points points towards the back just because there's a lot more room uh, up front, it'd be a little tight. Probably have to like bend the sheet metal here, but I'm not really trying to do that. So it comes up in there, and it actually looks pretty decent. It fits all under the little cover here. Um, I still have to wire everything, so we'll be we'll be doing that later on. So what I've got here is this long line. That's the feed line from the tank to the fuel filter. Um, this is the other side of the filter to the rail. This is from the exit of the rail to the regulator. Um, you can see here it's it's going to be bent pretty good like that. Just trying to massage them into place over time. But this came coiled up in a tiny box, so all the hoses naturally just want to keep keep turning. Um, and then on the other side of the regulator, I've got it going to a 6AN, which is like what the factory, or the factory's 5 sixteenths on the um, high pressure pump, so there's really no need to go any bigger. Um, so that's going to go out the other side. So that 180 is going to go here, it's going to go around. So I'm sharing the map sensor mount for the mount. It's actually really sturdy. I've got it loose right now so I can get the hoses started. Um, so the, I've changed the fitting there because that was my old pressure port at the end of the rail. Um, I don't know if you're going to see anything, but it comes up. Oh, I've got the line out of here. Uh, it comes up over here, follows the factory fuel line. Um, routing and then it comes over the cables and then I've got a 45 off of here to go over there. Um, it's pretty far away from the exhaust. I'm not too worried about it, but I'm going to get some heat wrap just in case. So this is what I had before. This is just regular, uh, I don't even know what you call it, flex hose or whatever. Um, it's E85 compatible, but I think PTFE with the alcohol that I plan on running is going to be a little better. Uh, I actually had it fed through the flex fuel sensor and then mainly to the high pressure pump. And it still made 600 horsepower with teeing off of that. And my fuel rail came from here to here. And then I had the pressure sensor here. So I knew this would be the worst spot for pressure. So that's where I put it. And it actually held pressure pretty good. Um, it would hold 62 pounds, 63 pounds, which is what my car would run at wide open throttle, um, up to like 540 horsepower on ethanol. Uh, once you put gas in it, it actually 
make 600 pretty easy. This is my pressure sensor. I think it's a 150 PSI Motec sensor. Race grade is like the American sensor brand they have. Um, this was at the end of the fuel rail, so it would read the absolute lowest part of the system, I would think. Um, and then this is just a continental, continental ethanol sensor. Uh, these things are only like 70 bucks on Amazon. And then two 38s EFI fittings. They're not really meant to run over 53 pounds because that's what all the GMs run, but uh, I, you know we don't have problems doing that. Um, so now it's going to be on the return and less less of a restriction. So what? Are, so the sensor element in there. But anyway, most people can make a lot of horsepower through that without any without any troubles. So this is going to have to be moved to the regulator now. I could put it on the fuel rail, but. I think it would be cleaner on the regulator, probably make a new line or something. Might have to extend some wiring, but we'll, we'll see when we get there. So that's it for today. Probably going to come back at it tomorrow and button it up. So this is it all assembled. Minus the feed line to the filter. Um, I haven't got it back under the car and like tied it all up. Um, took the hoses inside, rinsed them out with water, and then blew them out with air. This one might be a touch long, but I need to put this bracket back on to hold that. But um, it looks nice. Uh, it, the loops, I don't really necessarily care for, but I had to put the regulator here. Uh, because my coil kit is going to go here, and then with that being there, there was just no no room for anything over there. Um, but it looks looks okay. Um, got the regulator mounted. I just drilled two holes in it and got two bolts going on the back. Uh, it's actually quite simple. Um, see, I've got the feed line from the rail. Uh, that's all loose still. But yeah, so this is just mocked up. Um, feed line from the rail and that's going to the high pressure pump and then the return is going back to the factory feed so that's it uh, here's my catch can setup I made it's, it's little um, if you're going to do a real catch can on something like this you just need to get get rid of this and run like an open hose or not even a catch can just an engine breather system so tomorrow I'm going to wire it and then like do like a finish install on everything. Um, I've got some 10 gauge wire like I said earlier and I'm probably going to strap it to the battery and i got to figure out which one of these pins is the fuel pump trigger. So I've got a Bosch 30 amp relay and I'm going to do all that good stuff in the back. Alright, until tomorrow.